This video will demonstrate how to resolve a client installation issue where you can't access right-click functions in the Configuration Manager or create jobs for a specific control module. After upgrading a specific control module, you have this problem where you don't get right-click menus in the Configuration Manager, nor can you create jobs for a specific control module. This is caused by some of the installation parts being blocked and is a feature of Windows security that blocks files from unknown sources. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate two ways to resolve this issue, but the best way to deal with it is to make sure that your installation files are unblocked before running the installer. So let's take a look at the problem. Here we are in the Configuration Manager. Here's our recently upgraded AFT control module. I'm, I'm right clicking on it now. There are no menus. Now let's take a look at what we see in our client. Go to create an AFT job. And that's not available as an option. So there's no forms installed, it seems. So let's look at the cause of this, opening up Windows Explorer and looking at two of the recently modified files here. We see a DLL and a PDB file. Let's just right click on the properties of these and see what a, the problem is. There we see an unblock button at the bottom. This indicates that the file has been blocked at the OS level. What we need to do is go through and make sure we unblock all the files that were part of this upgrade. So what we're going to do now is run PowerShell from an administrative prompt and use the unblock file commandment. This is available in version three and above. So first of all, let's check our PowerShell version. And we see the second line there version 4. So now we can go ahead and run the commandlet. What we'll do is run get child item, pass it the location of our client installation here, use the recurse option, pipe that into unblock file. So this is going to recursively look at all the files in our installation and unblock them. And we just started running it. So this can take a few minutes to run based on the speed of your machine and the installation type. A client only installation will be much quicker than an EM installation. And there we see it's finished. So let's go back to Windows Explorer and take a look at our files and make sure they're unblocked. Just refreshing this. And look at the properties once again. We can see that that option to unblock has gone away. This means that the file is now unblocked. Let's verify this. I've restarted the configuration manager here. Selecting AFT, right clicking it. Now we have our menu as we expect. Now we can verify in the client, which I'm Relogging back into. Let's go to the planning domain and open up a fresh workspace. Once it loads, we now see our file transfer option back as we expect. So that's unblocking it using PowerShell. There's a utility called streams.exe, which I'll now show you. This is available for download from Microsoft. I've just reset these DLLs so that they're blocked again. So let's take a look at that. There's our button back. We're going to run this from a PowerShell command again, administrative prompt. And it runs in basically the same way 
we run the executable, we pass it the S option, and we pass it the location of our EM installation. As with the PowerShell command, this will take a few minutes to run depending on your installation type. Now we see it running and it's finished and it's telling us it's unblocked those two files. This concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our Knowledge Place and YouTube channel for more videos like this.